tactical arsenal of Los Mexicles was captured in Ciudad Juarez. In an operation to capture the escapees from the Social Readaptation Center No. 3 of Ciudad Juarez, elements of the state public security, in coordination with personnel from the National Defense Sedena and the State Investigation Agency, seized 25 firearms, dozens of magazines, thousands of bullets, 5 kilograms of crystal, hundreds of pieces of tactical and ballistic equipment, in addition to detaining five people. The detainees are probably linked to the escape from the inmates from Cerezo 3 and the violent events from August 11, 2022 in Ciudad Juarez. Derived from the operational analysis and intelligence work, an address was located in the Erendia neighborhood in Ciudad Juarez, where it was presumed that several of the subjects who escaped from Cerezo No. 3 were hidden on December 1st. Operational elements of the state police and the SWAT special forces and the special detective groups participated in it who carried out an intervention at the home where three subjects and two women were found, in addition to a minor under 16 years of age who are allegedly linked to the escape from the prison as well as the violent acts in Ciudad Juarez on August 11, 2022. The detainees were identified as 29-year-old Jesus E. El 08, Miguel Ángel El Shaggy, 22 years of age, Eric Jonathan El Pelón, 18 years old, as well as a woman named Mariana, with 21 years of age, and another one named Magdalena, of 28 years of age. Inside the home, 13 long firearms, 3 revolver type firearms, 3 pistol type firearms, 3 shotguns, and a submachine gun, as well as a grenade launcher and a Vickers machine gun were seized. They also seized 107 ballistic helmets, 65 tactical vests, 147 ballistic plates, dozens of pieces of tactical equipment such as knee pads, encounters, trimming, and pixelated uniforms. Inside the home, 6,096 cartridges of various calibers, two belts for machine guns, and 101 magazines for different firearms were also seized. In the same way, 13 plastic bags were seized that contained a granular and transparent substance with characteristics of a drug known as crystal, weighing 5 kilograms, having an approximate value of 1,250,000 pesos. This was a huge hit for the Mexicles gang, which surprisingly is still labeled a gang, which looks like pretty much a cartel at this point is pretty organized they have links with a lot of other cartels like the Sinaloa cartel they also have links with the Linea cartel and they pretty much control Ciudad Juarez if we're being honest it's just that they're just realizing their power now and they're starting to get organized kind of like the Tepito cartel La Unión Tepito was a gang that started in Ciudad Mexico, but then later on when they realized other cartels were benefiting from Ciudad Mexico, they organized themselves and became a cartel and kicked those other cartels out and now they established themselves there. That is pretty much what Los Mexicles is doing at this point. They realized their power and they realized that they also control a border town, so they have a big income. Other cartels like the Sinaloa and La Linea have managed to control Ciudad Juarez in the past because of gangs like Los Mexicles and Los Aztecas, but we haven't heard of them in a long time. It's pretty much safe to say that Los Mexicles is controlling Ciudad Juarez. However, the three subjects of legal age and the two women were taken before the Public Ministry of Attorney General of the Republic as well as the seized weapon, cartridges, and equipment, while the minor under 16 years of age was placed under arrest. The arrest of the 16-year-old doesn't surprise me, because there's so many teens and even kids out there in Mexico doing crazy stuff. There's always kids in those cartels like CJNG, Los Mexicles, Sinaloa. All of them have kids or teenagers working for them. And it doesn't surprise me at this point. And there's no other way of changing that in Mexico than by changing the way of living.
Because kids nowadays in Mexico don't look up to the doctor. They don't want to be an engineer. They don't want to be a cop or a judge or something. They don't look up to nothing good in Mexico right now. The kids are lost. They're looking up to other kids like that. They're working in cartels because they're getting paid good. And they're like, oh, he's getting paid good. I should do that too because I want to get paid good. But man, it's tough in Mexico right now. It's a generation that's lost.